luck. You in a bit. Now, earlier this week, Michelin star chef David Chang rocked the culinary world by saying you should never cook a burger on a barbecue. So, of course, we had to seek the opinion of our barbecue king, John Tarode. John, I'm seeing, is he angry about this? <laughs> has he made Not peace happy. with it? How's it going there, John? Oh, well well, you know what? I'm at peace because I'm actually in front of my favourite cooking tool, which is an open fire. So that's really, really good. Uh, men have been using it, men and women have been using it for, for a very long time. I'm actually here, fortunate enough to be with that, my Barbie, and in front of Broadcasting Centre or Television Centre here at the Broadcaster. It's not a bad place to be. The sun's trying to shine. It's a, a proper sort of, you know, English barbecue. Okay. That's great. British barbecue. But I'm going to show you how to make a burger. That's okay. what I'll do. Yeah, lovely. Okay. On the barbecue, though, John, so you're I'm saying it's done, OK. Though, is I was... I, well, I tell you what it is, right, Craig, is that if I was going to cook a burger at home for my family, I would cook it in a fry pan normally. And the thing about a fry pan, what happens when you cook a burger in a fry pan, the fat stays in the pan with the burger and it continues to cook it. When you cook with a barbecue, what happens is the fat drops down and you don't get the flavour of that fat as it cooks. What you do get is the flavour of the bars. You might get a little bit of flame. You're not going to get very much smoke. But it's actually about getting this burger to be perfect. So what David says is what David does. That's absolutely up to him. He also told, told the world that the Aussie burger was, was not very good. Um, but I like mine with beetroot and a fried egg and with pineapple and with onions and all those things. So, David, you have yours. You guys are about to find out which one you like the best. Yeah, yeah, okay. we're going to put there this we are. to the well, test. Let's, let's do a taste test. Yeah, give it a test. So, making a burger, because what happens is a lot of people add lots of things like onions and various stuff to it. You don't need to. A really good burger is very, very simple. Take the meat out of your, like, mince out of your packet from the supermarket. Get a fork, and then with a fork, literally just mix it around so you, you just, just starts to come apart a little bit. And I use either 15 or 20% fat mince, one of the two. It's up to you which one you want to use, but whatever it is. Then you take that out. Once it's mixed just a little bit, don't use your hands because it makes it go hot and it starts to turn, make it go a little bit dry. So you just take a spoon, a big spoon, like this, and then you make it into a ball. A, a, just a simple ball. So I've got some here. And then you take two bits of, of paper, fold your bits of paper over, put your, your, your burger ball in between the paper and just squash it down. And what you've got now is you have a burger patty, and you make that or as thin or as thick as you like. I like them thin because I want the surface area to be crispy. Now, the outside of a bit of meat which is cooked is called it's Maillard reaction, and what that is when it goes brown is where the flavour comes from. So you take that, and that there you've got your burger patty. Simple as that. You can keep those in the freezer or the fridge, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You then take that, and you literally put them straight onto a grill or into a fry pan. David, of course, will put his in a fry pan. I'm today going to put mine on the grill. How are you doing with the taste test, guys? I mean... It's delicious. <laughs> there we are. We've got, we've got two here. All I'm going to say is, these were the same burgers. One is tiny, and that's not because I've eaten it, and one is small, which must be the way it's been oh. cooked. I can't right. put it down, it's going to fall off. I think so, I can tell. Can you? Yeah. They taste exactly the same to me. I think there's more flavour in that one. Well, I'm going to go for the bigger one because there's more of it. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. I'm saying smaller so ones. So these barbecue. ones have only okay. been on for a couple right. of minutes. So the barbecue ones, now what will happen, you'll get a bit of a colour on the outside of it. Shut the lid of the barbecue to keep the heat in and then get your bread rolls ready to go. So I've toasted my rolls a little bit. I'm going to wash my hands because I'll touch raw meat. So I'll do that in my little bowl underneath. I'm all ready to go from the outside kitchen. Take your burger buns and then you start to do what you want with it. So, I'm going to start with a bit of mayonnaise. The reason you use mayonnaise is because you want to protect the actual bread from any juice coming through. That will just stop it all from happening. Then, to that, then you want to put some lettuce um, underneath it, just a little bit, not very much. Too much of it and you've got a problem because what will happen is the whole thing will fall over. Then some gherkins, if you like gherkins. The sharpness of the gherkins and the vinegar of the gherkins they will help you to actually digest your food. John, can then I you just take ask you a quick question? Out of here. If you put the lid down yes, on the barbecue, does that taste better? Yes. Why? What it does, it just cooks a lot faster and it stops the shrinkage. 
So it cooks oh. nicely on the outside. There's our cheeseburger. Goes across the top. There. And I've put some bacon on. I've got sausages for all my friends. Because, you see, when you have a barbecue, a barbecue is not just about cooking a burger. A barbecue is about having your mates over, having a few beers, a couple of glasses of rosé, a little bit of fun, some smiles in the sun. So, yes, it may not be the, the culinary god's world way of cooking a burger, but for me, a, a, cooking a burger like this absolutely works. Yeah. Thanks, Ketchup, John. mayonnaise, mustard... Burger done. Go. There we yeah, are. Thank you. Now you just got to so find is. the friends, John. Now you just got to <laughs> find the friends. Thanks so much. There you go. I went Delicious. for the barbecue one. Yeah, I like them both. Yeah, right, good. still to come. He's